If you've already seen how easy it is to deploy and manage an NC2 cluster on Azure, but don't have Nutanix on-prem, you can still migrate your applications from non-Nutanix environments using Nutanix Move. We already have a NC2 cluster already deployed in Azure, and now we're going to move applications from a non-Nutanix environment that's running vSphere onto our cluster. Let's dive in. So we have our Move appliance already deployed running on-prem. You could also deploy this in Azure and it would work the, uh, the same way. So here's our web interface for Move. We have some environments already pre-created. We have our on-prem uh, vSphere environment already added, which is pretty simple. If you want to add more environments, uh, just supply the login credentials. We also have our Azure Prism Central um, we're not demonstrating it here, but you can um, migrate EC2 instances or Azure uh, VMs onto different environments as well. So we'll just hit cancel here. Um, and this is our vSphere environment that we already have on the Move appliance. We're going to migrate one of these SQL VMs into Azure. So let's get started here. We'll create a migration plan. <clears throat> We'll just call it SQL. So we're going to move from our vSphere environment to our NC2 uh, cluster that we recently deployed. Uh, we'll use our SQL container in case we want to apply different storage policies. So we'll just search for our SQL VMs. Um, so we're going to migrate this SQL uh, VM, it's listed here now. We hit next. We can supply the networking um, information for the VM. So we're going to pick our server subnet, uh, which has already been created in our Azure environment. We're not going to supply a test network. We hit next. It's going to check the resources on the destination side. So uh, we'll do everything pretty basic here. We're not going to supply any credentials, uh, but if you have other tasks that you want to, to do, then you can supply the admin passwords for those virtual machines. And so we'll just hit next here. Uh, so we're going to go with the default time zone. Uh, you can retain the MAC address for your uh, virtual machine, which can be important depending on when, you know, older licensing schemes as an example. Um, and then we're just going to do the migration right away, but you could schedule seating at a offline time. So you, if you're limited on bandwidth or you just want to wait for off hours, you have that ability. So we'll hit next. Um, so we have the environment configured. We're going to hit start. Uh, once the plan has been validated, it will start um, migrating the virtual machine over from our vSphere environment over into Azure. So it's in progress now. We can look at the progress uh, by going into here. And so we're just deleting all the snapshots and uh, making sure that we have access. So it's mounted the storage and now it's going to uh, seed the data. We'll speed up this process in the sake of time and then uh, come right back. So it's finished up. Now we have to just cut over the VM. Hit, hit cut over. So it's going to shut down the VM on the source side and then bring it up on the, the destination side. So it will leave the VM on the destiny or on the source side. It'll move any last changes and then we'll be finished. If we look over here, it's already shut down our virtual machine and it's also left some notes that it's been migrated and then uh, here now it's just bringing up the virtual machine on the 
Azure side. So now if we go into our virtual machines in Azure, go to VMs, uh, we can see that our SQL server has been moved, so it must be pretty close to being finished. Now if we go back and look at our virtual machine, it's powered on and uh, we are good to go. And that's how easy it is to move from a vSphere environment over into a Nutanix cluster running in Azure. Whether it's one VM or thousands of VMs, Nutanix Move can get you there. Please like and subscribe, check out our other NC2 Azure videos, and please post on what you would like to see. Thanks for watching.